All right, guys, so I'm about to do something quite interesting today. Whew. Makeup looks nice. Hair looks nice. So I'm in my bedroom, and I am going to show you these. I have tons of waist trainers. Um, as you guys know, I am a waist trainer veteran. <laughs> I believe in waist training. So with that said, since I believe in waist training, I'm going to show you all the waist trainers that I have and kind of give you a spiel as to which ones are best for what. They're all pretty good for waist training, meaning to kind of slim your waistline down. Uh, it's usually a temporary thing. However, it's really good for a little semi-permanent if you are keeping up with your diet and training. So with that said, let's get started. So first up is a weight belt. It is for the sole purpose of powerlifting or lifting heavy. The next one, these are called sweat belts. They're sweat bands. They're inexpensive and their purpose is great for cardio. Now these are called waist cinchers. They have a lot of support in the back and they are best for back support. These are waist training vest. This one's good for back support and this one is good for cardio and sweating it out. So if you're a person who hates your back fat, <laughs> this might be a good one for you. And last but not least, these are waist trainers. Great for everything I just previously mentioned, especially this one more so for back support. I wouldn't work out with these, but in order to know what size you need in waist trainers, here is how you find that out. So the two things that you need to know is what size you wear in tight fitted clothing and you also need a tape measure to take measurement of the widest point of your body. Not the smallest point, but the widest point because that is where we need to make sure that it fits depending on what type of waist trainer or cincher that you decide to get. You need to take your tape measure and you need to go at your widest point first. Know what that measurement is. So at my widest point, I'm a 38, I'm 38 inches, which I have lost two inches. Lord. And then at your smallest point, I'm 30 inches at my smallest point. So that's good for me. I've actually lost about an inch and a half in my top and about two inches below the belt. So happy about that. When you visit any site in order to uh, purchase a waist trainer, it is best to go a size up. Waist trainers have boning in them and they're about a two inch deviation smaller than an actual size of clothing. So keep that in mind. You need to know what size you wear in a dress size around your waist. And you also need to know what your measurements is. Once you know what your measurements are, when you look on the sizing chart, that means you need to go up a size if you find a waist trainer that matches your exact measurements. So that's it guys. Those are all the waist trainers that I have. Um, I hope this was helpful. I tried to give as much information as I possibly can about each one so you can make a decision. But um, if you already have waist trainers and it's been working for you, use those during the time that you are doing your weight loss journey or changing the way that your body looks because that's more so what i'm concerned about than looking at the scale do that but if you are looking for a particular waist trainer you can definitely look down below there's links down below to uh, most of the trainers that i think are best for the sizes small up to 6x um, i will suggest if 6X is a size that does not work for you, meaning it's not a size one up of your dress size or your pant size, I would say hold off until you bring your waistline down more, meaning bringing your weight down a little bit more in your waistline. That might require that you pay very close attention to your diet. Does not matter how you feel about it, that is how it's done 
abs are made in the kitchen. So if you want to slim your waistline down, keep in mind your entire body is what's going to lose weight, excess body fat, water weight, inflammation, because that's usually another issue in our waistline. That's what's going to happen first. That's how you get the inches down so that you can fit into at least a six extra large and any waist trainer that is offered in that size. So if you know a 6XL is not gonna fit for you, don't fret, don't worry, don't get all anxiety crazy on yourself, don't get down on yourself, just get back to focusing on that diet and focusing on cardio, at least 45 to 60 minutes of cardio. Do what works for you when it comes to cardio and make sure you eat clean. Your waistline will come down. Just stick to it. Other than that, I hope this video helped you out. If you got any questions, leave comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.